we told our players, you know, the truth, which is what we always tell them. Um, you know, we said that the football game would come down to the team that executed the best, and that would be the team that won. And for much of that football game, you know, we were in a position to win that game, and then at the very end, we didn't execute and finish off the game the way we needed to. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to them. They made a great play at the very end, you know, but uh, we gave them a couple of plays earlier in the game uh, before that last drive that we did not need to give them, and those scores were too easy considering the tough nature and how hard that football game was fought. We talk about it all the time. You know, um, this is a great football league in the GLIAC, and you play against a lot of football teams that, that all have a tremendous amount of talent. And, uh, you know, so for your players, each and every play, you have to come out and, and play, and you don't know which play uh, during the course of the game is going to change the tide or change the effect of everything. Could be a special teams play, um, which certainly had an effect in this game. Uh, it could be a big play, which certainly there were a couple of those, you know, on both sides where both teams were able to get behind some guys. Um, you know, and, and other than that, you know, I mean, it's a pretty hard fought, very evenly matched football game. And uh, you're hoping that you know, your guys execute throughout the whole game and, uh, and that you come out of the right side of it. But it takes a lot of work to get there. And people talk about, well, it's a close game, it's a coin flip game. Well, really it isn't. It's, it's a game that it's close. A lot of them, you know, they could say you could go either way, but it's really about which team executes and finalizes things and finishes it off the way they need to. Will made some great plays for us, you know, and he, and, he, and he delivered a couple of really nice balls. And, you know, so we're extremely happy with that. We also, but we also realized that there was probably a few reads that he missed, you know. And so it's a continue uh, work and a continue progression. He saw a team that was a little bit different this week for the first time, a team that really wanted to try to pressure us. And, and we took advantage with some deep balls. Unfortunately, one of our deep balls where we got behind them, um, they made a great play and stripped it from us. Otherwise, we're probably going in for points there, which it, at that point in time, it's early on in the game. It could make a difference on who wins and who gets the ultimate outcome. Well, as you get ready to go play Grand Valley, what, you know, what, one of the things that you always think of is that you're going to play at their place, which will be a packed house. Uh, a lot of people will be there. It'll be a very exciting environment, um, you know, and their fans will be ready to go. Uh, probably the difference is that this might be the best Grand Valley team that I've seen in the time that I've been here at Michigan Tech. Um, you know, very talented on both sides of the football. Uh, they've got a senior quarterback who can deliver the ball and, th and throws uh, tremendous strikes. Uh, big offensive line, very good tailback. Uh, defensively, they play very aggressively. They move their front around a lot and, and they're very athletic. You know, so. Um, this might be the best Grand Valley team that I've seen in the time that I've been here at Michigan Tech, and I would think that the people down in Allendale are probably thinking that this football team has a legitimate chance to be a national champion, and that's probably the level that they probably are, are at or should be considering themselves to be at. But that being said, that doesn't matter. We're going to prepare ourselves, and we're going to go down there, and we're going to get after them. So that's, that's the message that we're sending our guys, and that's, what, that's what's going to happen. We're going to go play. Well, you're always looking for those little things and those little weaknesses, but, but realistically, you know, for us, it just means our guys have to raise their level of play, and they have to go play a very good football game, and they have to play it for four quarters. Now, again, we had a good win against Hillsdale, you know, and, and uh, they went down and they played uh, the number 16 or 18 ranked team in the country, and they beat them by 16 points this last weekend. We believe that we can play against anybody that we play against all year long, but you've got to go out and you've got to execute. And, and we are playing a very good football team this week. But that doesn't change what it is that we have to do. We have to prepare well all week. Like I said, today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have to prepare well all week to go play against a very good football team in a very tough environment.